All right, Todd's back for a look at the weather. What's going on, sir? What is going on? Okay, well, first of all, the rain is gone. All right, we needed it. It was good. It was kind of a drought busting rain. Um, it did present some problems with some flooded basements and you know, some of the streets were underwater for a while, but we did need it and it got down into the ground and into some of the wells. I don't think all the ground is frozen. It did freeze up in October, but it's thawed since then. So in some areas it has gotten down into the water table and look at these amounts in Vassalboro over three inches. That's like a month's worth of rain in just one day. So that's again, drought busting rain. The temps have gotten colder since then and they're still dropping. We're in the 20s up north and around freezing elsewhere and not all that water's gone. There's still some puddles out there that are freezing up, so you got to watch your step a little bit. There may be some black ice here. Are the current wind chills up north. It's really cold. Bangor's wind chill. It feels like temp 19. It feels like 23 in Portland. The storms out of here. We get high pressure to work in that keeps us clear today, but it's going to retreat real fast and allow for this next storm to work into the northeast. And it's going to be cut off from the jet stream, which means it's going to park itself in New England for a few days. At first, a little snow, and then it turns milder, and we end up with some dreary days. Thanksgiving and Black Friday are not looking great right now. Sky is clear. That's nice. Black ice alert, though. Be careful for that. Breeze kicks up already. Those feels like temperatures are in the teens and 20s. Nice statewide sunshine, great visibility. The mountains will look pretty too with some snow up there. That's uh, did melt away a little bit yesterday, but not too bad. Clear, calmer this evening. The wind settles down and by the way, the temperatures will too. Tonight's lows in the teens. We normally will hit 45. I don't think we get to 40. If it happens, it's Portland, it's the beaches, it's the seacoast. Elsewhere in Maine, we're looking at mid 30s. Bangor's 34, Waterville the same, Lewiston 36. And up in the mountains, they can crank out snow at the ski resorts and uh, prep for the season. Get a nice little base. A little help from Mother Nature tomorrow with a period of snow, especially the northern half of the state. I do think that there will be some flakes mixed with some raindrops even along the coastline, but I don't see any accumulation. This is really weak. It's just the warm front coming through. And then we turn milder and this sluggish storm system drops raindrops on us from start to finish on Thanksgiving. And it does turn a little better on Black Friday, but both days no sunshine at all. I don't think we get sun until this front comes through and that's Saturday afternoon. So a little bit on Saturday and then a lot on Sunday, but that's like three or four days in a row with mainly cloudy skies. As the warm front comes through tomorrow, check this out. We're looking at one to three inches of snow. The mountains of Western Maine and New Hampshire do the best, like two to three inches. Lower elevations and through the central highlands, it's around an inch. There could be coatings though. Bangor, Waterville, Augusta, Lewiston, Auburn, Sebago Lake, and northern parts of York County. If a flake mixes in along the coastline, it would not accumulate. It would be just mild enough for it to melt. So not too many problems, but driving around doing some errands tomorrow, you may see some coatings, especially on the grass, just kind of some mood snow adding to the festive uh, kind of holiday season. Gale warnings are up today through four o'clock. Sees four to six feet. It's the wind really gusting to 30 knots. Sunny cold today, highs in the 30s. Tomorrow, a bit of snow inland mixed with some rain at the coastline, mid 30s again. Rainy and cool for Thanksgiving with highs in the 40s. A little milder on Friday, but still cloudy. And then on Saturday, it's partly sunny with a late day rain shower. A little cooler on Sunday, but the sun will be bright. No severe cold in the next seven to 10 days after today, of course, and tomorrow morning, guys. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Yeah. Thanks, Todd.